All right, so for today's video, let's talk distributors. All right, so tonight we're gonna to talk distributors. And while these are nothing new to the automotive or the marine world, there are a very few special instances to where they are different and it does matter. In this particular case, we're talking about a small block Chevy, right hand or reverse rotation motor. The crankshaft is spinning clockwise, where a typical automotive or left hand engine, the crank is spinning counterclockwise. So on a right hand engine with the crankshaft spinning clockwise, and they would typically use a timing gear, so the camshaft would spin counterclockwise like a normal automotive engine, and they would just reverse cut the cam lobes. In some instances, like mine, which is why we're here today, the camshaft and the crankshaft use a typical timing chain, and they both spin clockwise or reverse. Because of this, the distributor requires a reverse cut helical gear because no matter which way the cam or crank is spinning, the oil pump always and can only spin one direction. And that is the same as a typical uh, automotive uh, counterclockwise rotation. The distributor will always spin clockwise no matter what. So you can't just swap a gear on at least that's what the internet says. Because of that, the thrust changes direction in the distributor shaft, so there's special provisions like a thrust bearing or a thrust washer to prevent the distributor from tearing itself up. So the whole point of this video is because I have been searching for this distributor for a long time. It has been out of stock for years. I don't know if that was because of COVID or the demand wasn't very high for this because I think only marine power, to my knowledge, maybe Inmar and maybe PCM did this. I'm pretty sure Crusader only used a timing gear in their right hand reverse rotation engines to avoid this problem. So the distributors were same on the left and right hand motors. But for marine power specifically, because that's the engine that I have, they used a timing chain uh, on their reverse rotation right hand motor so the cam is cut backwards but the helical gear is cut the opposite way because like I said earlier the distributor can only spin clockwise and that's to drive the oil pump you can't spin the oil pump backwards it it won't won't work so they told me, they being Marine Engine Depot, uh, the subsidiary of Marine Power who makes the parts and sells engines, said that they literally made this and machined it this week. It's been a long time searching, searching for this. So the reason we're even here as well is because the distributor that came in the motor doesn't have the factory and GM style pickup or electro wheel looks completely different. In the next video, I will detail that all out in way too much detail. This, this magic unit has the GM factory style electro wheel pickup magnet. Looks great because the left hand motor on the boat has had no ignition problems. Knock on some wood somewhere because it just has the factory style and it's been reliable. Uh, the right-hand motor appears to have a MSD style reluctor wheel and pickup magnet, which has been problematic. And I've been looking for this for mm, years. So with all that being said, I got two videos coming, one on the distributor installation, which is gonna be a pretty typical doesn't matter if it's any kind of special distributor. It's just going to be how to install it and put it back exactly kind of close to where, exactly kind of close, exactly kind of close to where it came out. So the timing should be pretty, pretty close. And I'll show you how to time the engine, especially with the ignition module with the HEI setup here. There is a shunt you have to plug in to prevent it from advancing while you're trying to time the engine. The second video or first video will be a very, very detailed explanation on uh, reverse rotation small block Chevys, the different 
instances of how they did the cams with the gears with the chain and explaining more about the reverse cut helical gears on that as well so if you made it through this introduction this long i really appreciate it i'll see you on the next one